listening to the Sheena Metal Experience with your host, Sheena Metal, right here on LA Talk Radio. That's right, it's the Sheena Metal Experience right here on LA Talk Radio. My guest all the show is making his debut, not only on this show, but on any of my shows here at LA Talk Radio. He's a wonderfully talented <laughs> spiritual being and ghost doctor and a fantastic <laughs> author. Please welcome to the show the wonderful Rick Wagner. How are you, my friend? It's wonderful you, to have you, you here. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. So nice to have you here. So since it's your first time on the show, so some of my listeners are new to you, uh, tell me a little bit about you. Where did you grow up in the world and, and when did you know that you had gifts? Um, that's basically what the book is about. It goes back to when I was six years old growing up in Buffalo, New York, seeing things at the bottom of my bed. Wow. So for the first half of my life, I just lived um, in terror of whatever these things were that were trying to get me until I had a transformational moment, which happens to be chapter one, and uh, realized that they're all here for a purpose. Chances are they're trying to tell us something. Right. You know, if we're all spiritual beings, if you lost your carbon exterior, you are not all of a sudden an evil entity. Sure. I mean, it's still you. I had one client call me and goes, I need an exorcism. There's something in my new apartment. Everyone that comes in here says, there's something here. I need an exorcism. I want this out. An exorcism is a pretty strong word. Just I know. start I right said, out well, the gateway. I That's don't like, do that. It's like, wow, I have Did a rash have on a... my arm. I think it needs to be amputated. <laughs> That's a, it's a bit, will you come over and hack it off, Rick? Can That's... we have a conversation oh first God. and see what's going on before Ooh. you just say, get out? And they've a... all, they just heard you say that word, And then too. every demon in the neighborhood's like, oh, an exorcism? Let's go to that house. And they come flying <laughs> Let's in. Let's all watch. <laughs> yeah, there's going to be an exorcism. Let's go. <laughs> So I went through, and it was also at a, a, a termination of a relationship. So I, I, I went through with fire and, and cleared everything out. And we're sitting you. at the table. And he said, anything else? I said, well, yeah, there's someone standing next to you. He goes, get him out of here. Oh I'm like, my God. no, she's a very <laughs> sweet older woman. She's very short, and she's got these cool glasses on. And her name is Angela. And he goes, Agnes? And I go, Yeah. Because that's my grandmother. Yeah, I go, okay, see, you, you set, want me to do an exorcism right. on your grandma. You were going to set fire to <laughs> granny, you bad boy. Right? So people just react out of fear I all know. the time. And I said, let's I have know. a conversation. Can we have a conversation first and see what it is? Yes. And then deal with it from there. And so Granny's still there, and he talks to her every night. Good. Yes, thank you. Thank you. I, I hate to be the like the eternal optimist, but I do believe every spirit has a drop of good in there somewhere. Yeah. And something has twisted it around that they're creating this chaos for some reason. Yes. So instead of banishing it, I, th I thought, I just, I'll just i have a conversation. You Good know, for just you. Sit, um, let's talk. What is your issue? What do you want? Okay. Why are you pestering this human? Okay. Why aren't you where you are supposed to be? Okay. I don't see what that is. I see people in pain. If it's a physical pain and their mother is leaning on their shoulder and that's why it's been sore for two years yes. and I'll have mom step back, yeah. step back, don't touch them. When you touch our electrical centers, it's causing us headaches, neck pain, shoulder pain, or spine pain. Sure. If you have any of those pains and it's been there for years and your chiropractor and, and doctors and x-rays aren't taking care of it, you have someone leaning on you. And it's love. It's out of love, but they don't know that they're hurting us. Yes. And that's where the pain comes from. I agree. So I think, I mean, that's what I see. Let's have a a conversation first before you go to the doctors before you're on medication and psychotherapy and doing all of that stuff and let me see energetically what's attached to you if I can separate that from you and you can retain your own energy and your joy of life in one hour give me an hour that's why they call me the ghost doctor. Um, you're wonderful. Will you come back and we'll do this again really soon? Absolutely. Where can people find you online my friend? Um, myhauntedreality.com is where you can find information about the book. It also has my information on the last page, uh, rickwagner88 at gmail. And uh, the book is on Amazon. So you just go to Amazon, type in Rick Wagner. It's the first thing that pops up. And you can buy it there. Wonderful. The book is uh, My Haunted Reality, 50 Years of Ghost Stories by my friend Rick Wagner. And uh, he's going to be back here soon. Please go and get that book. Uh, if you missed any links for Rick, SheenaMetalExperience.com, LATalkRadio.com. Send me an email, and I will gladly forward the links over to you. It's the Sheena Metal Experience on LA Talk Radio. And you know what happens here, my friends. 
Every Monday through Friday, 5 to 7 p.m. Pacific Time, we lift the veil off the human side show and expose those big old homo sapiens at their most bizarre sometimes and at their most beautiful every single day. And you know it's my show, and that's true, my friends, but what it really always and forever is is your experience. Thanks for listening. Have a great night, and I'll see you all tomorrow right here on L.A. Talk Radio. 